Kenyan politics has been shaped by many powerful figures, but a few have had as complex relationship as Raila Odinga and William Samoy Ruto. From allies in 2007 to rivals and back again to allies, their journey reflects the turbulent nature of Kenya's political landscape. This is their story from 2007 to 2004. That have supporting documents. The commission have told us that they have sent a plane to look for these uh, results. We have been told that it will be ready by about 3 o'clock. We, we want to verify those things before any announcement is made. Because we have figures everywhere. And every other place has figures. Let me finalize by saying all the, all the documents that we have show clearly that Raila Amolo Odinga has 4,215,437 and Honorable Mike Kibaki has 3,748,261 votes. That is what we have. And, and if the Commission is going to announce other results, they must tell us on the basis of what. And we have pointed to them very clearly. And we thank God that they allowed us last night to peruse the file. Because on perusing of the file, it was absolutely clear that announcements were being made here <coughs> which did not have any basis. Because there were no documents to support whatever announcements that were being made. If a figure is going to be assigned to somebody 50,000, you can as well assign him 500,000. Because, I mean, if, if you are assigned figures without any supporting... To be sincere enough, in this political landscape, I have never seen someone or any politicians who, are, who have ever fought for Raila or Amolo Odinga the way William Ruto has been ha stood with him during the 2007 election. I have never seen someone fight for Raila Amolo Odinga the way R William Ruto did. And uh, there's something that is unfolding in 2024. And we are seeing them, and they, it's like they are back together. And this kind of uh, unity between Raila and Ruto is very hard to crack because it is usually very brutal. We saw what happened in 2007. These guys have diehards. Uh, Raila Odinga's people, they will only follow whatever he says. And so I think Ruto has just secured himself at 2007. 2027 winning ticket and we are yet to see more and see whatever is unfolding in the Kenyan political land. They tell us why fix it if it is working. They say they have a working government therefore we don't need to fix it. But Aguambo I know you are aware that we need to fix this thing. We need and we want to tell them, we want to tell them on our first day that there is sufficient reason, though they say it is working, we want to fix it. We want to fix it because this country is not secure. From Mount Elgon to Central Province, either you are fighting gorillas or you are fighting Lugini. That is why we want to fix it. We want to fix it because 30% of the workforce of this country do not have a job. We want to fix it because there is poverty, crippling poverty in this country. We want to fix it because of the inequality that this country is famous for. It is the third most unequal country in the world. We want to tell our colleagues that is why we want to fix it. Let me finish. Let me finish. Let me finish. By telling my brother Agwambo, now you have the mantle, my brother. Now you have the mantle of the body. And I want to remind you of the words of Abdullah Sopah who said 
A man who wants to lead the orchestra must turn his back to the crowd. Please look forward, don't look back. You are leading the orchestra, and this year, with you, with the audience team, with this audience leadership sitting in this auditorium, and millions outside there, we are sure that we will deliver an ODM government. The year 2007, marked a significant turning point for Kenya. Raila Odinga and William Ruto joined forces under the Orange Democratic Movement ODM, as part of the Pentagon, a coalition of powerful leaders aiming to unseat the, the then President Mwai Kibaki. I was sitting, uh, I was sitting next to, I was standing behind the, the two. I was telling, um, whispering to Chuck Tuma, you are a fine man. Give us fine results. Even if the fine results are us losing, so long as they are fine. And we knew what was going on. They were determined. They knew they've lost. They knew they will use the exercise of the police and they will shut us down. Then all of a sudden, two columns of GSU started coming from my right and then doing a, a funnel and then the electoral body officials uh, members commissioners were beckoned to stand up and then they were told to walk then they walked through the two lines one line on this side another line on this side they walked through and they were escorted as such up to the upper room after that was done, we were told to navigate cases. And they were ready to beat us up. So we forget it. We have had so many conspiracies and plans of how to finish, to finish our leaders. So in our understanding, we were more concerned and worried about our presidential candidate. Raila a seasoned politician with a strong following, and Ruto, a rising star with a considerable influence in the Rift Valley, represented a formidable alliance by that time. Their combined efforts galvanized support across the whole country of Kenya, but the election results were hotly contested, leading to widespread violence and unrest. To quell the violence, international mediators led by Kofi Annan brokered a power-sharing agreement. Raila Odinga became prime minister while Kibaki remained the president. William Ruto was appointed minister for agriculture, highlighting the temporary unity in the government. This uneasy alliance aimed to restore peace and stability but underlying tensions remained. The 2007-2008 post-election violence led to the investigations by International Criminal Court, the ICC, in The Hague. William Ruto, among others, faced charges of crimes against humanity. This period was marked by significant political realignments. While Raila and Ruto had once been allies, their paths began to diverge. Raila continued his political pursuits while Ruto fought to clear his name. The trials impacted their political strategies and alliances, setting the stage for future confrontations. By 2013, the political landscape had shifted dramatically. Raila Odinga ran for president under the Coalition for Reforms and Democracy, CORD, while William Ruto aligned with Uhuru Kenyatta under the Jubilee Alliance. Ruto's partnership with Kenyatta proved successful and they won the presidency. Raila alleging electoral fraud 
He challenged the results but immediately accepted the Supreme Court's decision. The rivalry between Raila and Ruto intensified as they pursued different political agendas. In 2017 general election, Uhuru again won together with his deputy William Ruto against Raila Amolo Odinga. In a surprising turn of events, Raila Odinga and President Uru Kenyatta shook hands in 2018, signaling a new era of political cooperation. This handshake led to the Building Bridges Initiative, BBI, aimed at in uniting the country and addressing systematic issues. William Ruto, sidelined by the new alliance, opposed the BBI, framing it as a threat to his political ambitions. This period saw Raila and Ruto on opposing sides once more with each rallying their supporters. The 2022 elections was a crucial moment for both parties, Raila and Ruto. Raila running with the support of Uru Kenyatta, first off against William Ruto who campaigned on a platform of economic empowerment and anti-corruption in 2022, of whereby we saw the hustler narrative coming and the bottom-up economic style coming up in his campaign. Ruto's message resonated with many Kenyans, leading to his victory. Raila contesting the results ultimately accepted defeat. Despite the intense rivalry, both leaders have continued to play a significant role in Kenyan politics. In June and July 2024, we saw a lot of protests sparked by the financial bill that was passed by the Kenyan parliament, which uh, made Kenyan protesters storm the Kenyan parliament. And so the protest has been ongoing and uh, the protesters who are mostly Generation Z, they told Raila to stay away. And Raila has come up with the strategy of national unity that they want to form a government with Ruto to address the issues that the young people are asking for. And so he has faced, Raila has faced backlash for uni reuniting with his former ally whom they were with together in the Orange Democratic Movement. It's like uh, people are feeling like the ODM has come back and they are on the helm of power, the, the power that they were snatched in, 20, in 2007. The duo are back and they have the power in their hands. And through this, people feel like Raila has betrayed them. But Raila, we don't know what his, is his next move. But let us watch things as they unfold. Because uh, as per now, we cannot speculate. Some people say they, there will be some cabinet ministers who will be appointed from the Raila side, like Weekly for Paranya, Ali Hassan Joho, and the likes of Junaid Mohammed. And so let us see what kind of government that Ruto and Raila are going to form amid the protests that are ongoing. So guys, in case you are new to this channel, kindly subscribe, consider subscribing, and uh, let us know in the comments below. Do you support the the reunite the realignment that is is ongoing? Like the ODM is back in in full force. Do you support that? So kindly let us know in the comments below and subscribe to this channel and give us a like button. Just hit the like button and make sure you hit the notification bell so that we produce when we produce videos, you will be notified immediately. Thank you guys and keep informed.